Hello everyone, in this video we'll talk about very important concept called as IDS and IPS system. So IDS stands for intrusion detection system whereas IPS stands for intrusion prevention system. So these both systems works together in order to detect intruder activity on our network and once they found intruder activity then they take appropriate steps in order to stop that activity. So here you can see that here is our local area network. Here is our IDS system, here is our firewall, router and internet. So any request from internet which is going into our local area network will have to pass from IDS and any request which will go out from our local area network have to be passed from IDS. So intrusion detection system and intrusion prevention system are can either be a hardware or a combination of both or combination of hardware and software which we can deploy on our network and the web application in order to detect intruder activity. So depending upon their capabilities that how complex they are, they use different techniques in order to scan intruder activities on our network. So some of their techniques which they use are signatures. So they match the signature of malicious packets with the original one and some of them may use anomaly based techniques in order to detect intruder activity and intrusion detection systems are of different types depending upon on which platform we want to deploy. So some of the examples are NIDS. So NIDS stands for Network Intrusion Detection Systems which are deployed on a network in order to scan intruder activity or a hacker's activity on a network whereas HADS stands for Host Intrusion Detection System which are deployed on a particular host in order to scan intruder activity on that host whereas some of intrusion detection systems are also deployed on web application in order to scan or detect hacker's activity on that web application. So there is one open source NIDS network intrusion detection system called as SNOT. So we will use SNOT in this video to see that how we can deploy NIDS on our network and we can detect intruder activities. So you can see here that SNOT is an open source network intrusion detection system and it's available for Linux and Windows. And you can download SNOT from here from their official website that is SNOT.org. Now let's see how we can deploy SNOT. Now let's deploy and configure SNOT on our network. Well, we can download SNOT from here, from their official website, snot.org. And here you can see that right now I am on snot.org. So let me go here to downloads. So you can deploy SNOT on any operating system, like you want to deploy SNOT on your Windows, you can even deploy SNOT on Cent operating system on your server. And here you can see the binaries of SNOT. So these binaries are available for different operating systems like the RPM package for Red Hat 7 and then CentOS but for the time being I'll deploy the SNOT on Windows operating system. So let me just click over here. So SNOT here you can see the binaries of a Windows installer.exe. So let me click over here and download the SNOT.exe. So let me click on save file. So I'm using Windows 7 as my virtual machine in order to deploy SNOT. So I have already downloaded snot.exe so you can see here the snot installer. So let me install snot on my Windows 7 operating system. So here you can see that the snot installation setup is completed. Click on close and the additional thing we have to do is we have also have to install winpcap so which you can download it from here from winpcap.org and I have already downloaded winpcap installer here you can see here so let me install winpcap also so winpcap is actually a contains network drivers which SNOT will use in order to capture and sniff network packets so here you can see that I have installed SNOT and winpcap so let me go to local drive C where SNOT is installed and here you will see that a directory or a folder named as snot is created. So if I open this up, you will see the snot directories. Well, I told you earlier that snot works on different rules that we can set our own rule and we can also use predefined rules in order to let the snot to sniff the packet. So the next thing we have to do is we have to download the snot rules. So in order to download the snot rules, the first thing you have to do is you have to create an account and then once you create an account in snot website you have to log in so let me just log in so once you are logged in 
The next thing you have to do is you have to download the Snort rules. So go here to downloads and here you will see one option of rules. So let me click over here and here you will see a Snort rules. So we have to download this one Snort rules snapshot and it's the latest one 2983 and 2990 tar and it's a tar file so let me download this one 2983 tar.gz and i have already downloaded snort rules and which are present on my virtual machine so you can see here a tar file of snort rules so let me extract it So if you are deploying Snort on your server, then you can follow the same steps as I'm doing here in my Windows. So once we got the Snort rules, let me open this up and show you. So it contains different directories. The next thing we have to do is we have to copy these all directories or a folder and we have to paste them inside the Snort directory that is inside local drive C. So here you can see it's not. So let me paste all these folders and files here. And then it asks us that whether we want to replace some existing one. So yes, click over here, click on yes. So yes, copy and replace everything. So here you can see that our Snort is ready to work. The next thing we have to do is we have to create two files inside the Snort directory. So let me open notepad so you can use any text editor. So we have to create a two files named as whitelist.rules and blacklist.rules. So Snort will configure and the slot will work depending upon our rules which we will provide. So I'm creating a file named as whitelist.rules. So we have to save this file inside Snort directory. So click on snort and here is one directory called as rules. So I'm just leaving this file empty and I'm renaming it as whitelist dot rules. And then we have to create another file called as blacklist dot rules and we have to save it inside that same directory snort rules. So that file name is blacklist dot rules. Now here you can see that the two files blacklist.rules and whitelist.rules are created and I told you earlier that in this short video I'll just give you a small overview of Snort but in the next video series of Snort I'll show you that how we can set our own custom rules by adding them in these two files blacklist.rules and whitelist.rules. Now everything is ready let me give a small recap that what we have did. So we have downloaded Snort and we have installed the Snort with this WinP cap utility then we have downloaded snort rules and then we have extracted the snort rules and we have copied these all files inside the snort directory so then we have created two files that is whitelist.rules and blacklist.rules now in order to run snort we have to open command prompt and we have to go to local drive c where snort is installed so let me go there and here you will see one directory called as snort so let's go there and then we have to go bin directory which is present inside snort so here you can see that right now we are inside snort bin and inside the bin directory there is one file called as snort.exe so this is the file or the main executable file of snort which we will use so the first thing we have to do is we have to check that what are the network adapters or network interfaces which are available in this operating system. So we can do so by writing snort.exe then we have to specify one parameter that is hyphen capital W. Hit enter and here you will see that it has listed out that there is one interface or a one network adapter which is present inside this Windows 7. So you can see its index value that it's one. Here you can see the physical address or a MAC address of that network adapter. Here you can see the IP address that is IPv6 and then here you can see the description and it's an desktop adapter you can see here. So what this adapter means? So just for example in your operating system there are two network adapters means you are also using Ethernet connection and you are also using wireless adapter. So all the adapters which are present in your system will just get listed over here. So Snort will actually work on a particular adapter whether you want to configure snort on physical adapter whether you want to configure snort on wireless adapter so you can by 
checking the adapter from here. Then the next thing we have to do is, in order to snort snort, we just have to write snort.exe. Then here, I'll specify one parameter that is hyphen V and hyphen V is for verbose mode. Then here, we have to specify the network adapter on which we want to configure the snort. So we can do so by specifying this parameter hyphen I and here we have to write down the index number of that network adapter. So right now there is only one network adapter which is listed over here. So I'm just writing here hyphen I and the index number is one. So hit enter. So here you can see that our snort is started and it's just started sniffing the packets. Now in order to verify what we can do, let me open command prompt again. Now what I'm going to do here is I'll ping the google.com and you will see that any internet packet which will come inside our network will just get monitored by snot. So if I just write here ping google.com and you will see that the echo reply of google.com will be monitored by snot. So if I just hit enter and here you will see the echo reply packets echo then echo reply which means any packets which are going in and going out from our network will be monitored by snot. So this is how snot works and in the advanced video series of snot I'll show you that how we can set our own custom rules in order to block a particular traffic or a particular port but this was a small overview of snot that how we can deploy snot. So in this video we have discussed that what is snot and what are the different type of IDS systems and then we have seen that how we can deploy snot on Windows 7. So thanks for watching this video.